Saigon. Shit. I'm still only in Saigon. Every time I think I'm gonna wake up back in the jungle. When I was home for my first tour, it was worse. I'd wake up and there'd be nothing. Or they said a word to my wife. This is the Before I said yes to a divorce. Beautiful friend. When I was this here, I wanted to be there. When I was there, all I could think of was getting back into the jungle. I'm here a week now. Waiting for a mission. Softer. Every minute I'm in this room, I get weaker. And every second Charlie squats in the bush, he gets stronger. Every time I look around, the walls move in a little tighter. Everyone gets everything he wants. I wanted a mission. And for my sins, they gave me one. Brought it up to me in like room service. It was a real choice mission. And when it was over, I'd never want another. I want that tree line bomb! Send it back to the Stone Age, son! You see that? You smell that? Do you smell that? That's napalm, son. Nothing else in the world smells like that. You know, one time I had a hill bomb for 12 hours. When it was over, I walked up, couldn't find one of them. Not one stinking dink body. But that smell, you know that gasoline smell, the whole hill. It smelled like victory. Someday this war's gonna end. I've seen horrors. Horrors that you've seen. But you've no right to call me a murderer. You have the right to kill me. You have the right to do that. But you've no right to judge me. It's impossible through words to describe 
what's necessary to those who do not know what horror means. Horror. Horror has a face. And you must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. If not, they are enemies to be feared. They are truly enemies. I remember when I was in Special Forces. Seems a thousand centuries ago. We went into a camp to inoculate some children. We left the camp after we'd inoculated the children with polio. And this old man, he came running. He was crying, he couldn't say. We went back there. And they had come and hacked off every inoculated arm. There they were in a pile. A pile of little arms. And I remember I, I cried. I wept like some grandmother. I wanted to tear my teeth out. I don't know what I wanted to do. And I want to remember it. I never want to forget. I never want to forget. And then I realized, like I was shot, like I was shot with a diamond, a diamond bullet right through my forehead. I thought, my God, the genius of that, the genius, the will to do that, perfect, genuine, complete, crystalline, pure. That's when I knew that they were stronger than me. Because they could stand that these were not monsters, these were men. Trained cadres. These men who had families, who had children. Who fought with their hearts. But they had the strength. The strength to do that. If I had 10 divisions of those men, our troubles here would be over very quickly. You have to have men who are moral. But also who are capable of utilizing their primordial instincts to kill without passion, without judgment. Without judgment. Because it's judgment that defeats us.